past few months, I've written a television pilot. So yeah, it's about a couple who want children. They're not having much luck, so they adopt a child, and the child turns out to be a zombie. I call it Raising the Dead. <laughs> oh, the times have been on, haven't they? Oh, mate of mine, he's completely at his livelihood room, and he can't get work, no one will hire him. He's a Marilyn Manson tribute. <laughs> yeah, my next door neighbour was a key employee. Works at Timpsons. <laughs> I've been there seeing what uh, my next door neighbours have been doing. Uh, I once uh, I looked in across the uh, house across the street from me, saw a woman masturbating with my telescope. So that's where I left it. <laughs> <laughs> I took advantage of my freedom. I took a visit to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Woo! I won a goldfish and a coconut. <laughs> or as the Tories call it, school lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Belfast. I was walking down the town centre, there was a massive explosion. There was debris and fire and smoke everywhere. I asked a local Oh my god, was this the IRA? Oh, don't worry about it, Paul. Just a gender reveal party. <laughs> did a comedy night in Portsmouth last night, and I don't mean to say the place was dead, but the place used to be a mortuary. Well, the good news is I still got a shag afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Now, tis the job of every comedian to know where to draw the line. <laughs> well, I do, it's upstairs in the lavatory. <laughs> now, so on my way here, this fella on a bicycle tried to sell me drugs. He was peddling. <laughs> I once had an argument with um, a celebrity on Twitter. I told him to go eat a dick. It was, Ar it was Arnie Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, of all the Me Too stories, that one's probably the most interesting, I think. Like, oh, cannibalistic, but okay, that's a new one. And, and then we're saying, this guy's, his career is fucked. Like, nonsense, we found the new Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> so. so, okay, here's a thing. <laughs> I went on a date recently. It went all right until she started trying to chat me up about communism. I can't believe I missed all the red flags. Fellow <laughs> 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 so, with leprosy went goes for a job interview. Said, so, so they asked, so what do you hope to achieve with this position? Well, I've always wanted to get my foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> we had a cat with leprosy. And one day he went up a tree and well, at least he managed to land on his feet. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that old song, Pack Up Your Troubles. Well, I've taken that advice to heart, because today, um, I f my neighbor's dog has been keeping me up all night, so today, I spent an hour trying to fit a cunt into a suitcase. <laughs> yeah. it's, kind of, you know, it's kind of funny in this day and age, like, you can confess to being, I don't know, supporting Brexit or Tor or the vote Tories or the Nazi or Trump Trump supporter and people say, no, that's okay, we can agree to disagree. Politics is politics, man. You tell people you don't like dogs and that's it. That's a thing. <laughs> you might as well confess to being a fucking Nazi war criminal, you know what I mean? So, okay, here's a quick. Has anyone ever have you ever done that thing where you're having a drink and somebody makes you laugh and then you Water comes out your nose like that, you know? Anyone done that? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Free advice. Never ever tell a joke whilst in the middle of oral sex. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I met your mother. <laughs> so, so funny, if the act who was on before me, uh, she told me, um, uh, she once said, in comedy, there is no HR. Yeah, that's true. I mean, just look at Bill Cosby. Jesus. 
So one time I was in a pub, and this was back when I was in between girlfriends, incidentally, best birthday present ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed that George Best has a beer named after him. Did y'all know this? So I couldn't help but think that's just a little bit insensitive considering <laughs> the man died of chronic alcoholism. And I guess it, I was once I was in the outskirts of Bristol, there was a, literally an, an off license called Amy's Wine House. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure her family loved that. How did she die again? Oh, yeah. I eagerly await the opening of Bunny Holly Airways. <laughs> oh. Too soon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone here from Bristol? Okay. <laughs> Anyone been to Bristol? Like <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, so after years of thumb, dra thumb wagging and chin dragging, they have finally changed the name of the Colson Hall to the Bristol Beacon because people were complaining that it's this. We want to change because it's associated with somebody awful who's committed terrible crimes in our history. It was a disgusting human being. And all yeah, I got two words for you, pal. Saddle Row. <laughs> <laughs> You meet some interesting people in this comedy game, like one person I actually met, Pretty Patel's gynecologist. And he told me he had to examine her, he took one look up there and he said, Fuck me, there is just no end to this cunt! <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of a name is Pretty Patel anyway? It sounds like a rejected bong girl name. So, Hi, I'm Pretty. Well, of course you are. Pretty Patel. Oh, I must be dreaming. Do you know Can you imagine Pretty Patel and Diana going on countdown? Can you imagine those two on the numbers game? Good grief. Okay, on that note, I want to leave you with some um, something my dad told me. He, the great advice he gave me was, the worst thing that you can do to an enemy was just ignore them. I now understand why he was kicked out of the army. <laughs> <laughs>